Vice President Mike Pence spent the afternoon at NASA's Kennedy Space Center where he talked about entering a new era of exploration and discovery. And as Channel 9's Melanie Holt reports tonight, the Vice President said the Trump administration has a vision for space that's larger than NASA alone. A historic location was chosen for the president's address, the Vehicle Assembly Building. It was built for the Apollo and Saturn vehicles, modified for the space shuttle, and soon will be where the space launch system is assembled. This center is today the world's premier multi-use spaceport, and that truth will only continue to grow. This afternoon, Vice President Mike Pence visited NASA's Kennedy Space Center, not just as VP, but also as the new chair of the recently revived National Space Council. It was relaunched by President Trump in an executive order just last week. We will, in his words, foster close coordination, cooperation, technology, and information exchange among all the stakeholders and sectors involved in space activity. The first meeting of the council could take place before the end of summer in front of an audience that included NASA employees and contractors, elected officials, and guests like astronaut Buzz Aldrin. The vice president also talks about returning to the moon and putting American boots on Mars. A manned Mars mission is already part of NASA's plan. But we've asked NASA for a map, a guide, a stepping stone map of where we are today and when we get to Mars, and that we stick to that and keep it a priority. And under President Trump, the vice president promised a new era of American space leadership. We will reorient America's space program toward human space exploration and discovery for the benefit of the American people and all of the world. Before his departure, Vice President Pence did take the time to stop and speak to some of the hundreds of workers who heard his address today. Reporting from the Kennedy Space Center, Melanie Holt.